Hello, YouTube. This is Chibi Vanille, for that matter. And we're going to be doing a video on the Renaults. Renaults. Um, yeah. So this is number 17. The 17th time that I've recorded a video, and hopefully there's no audio bug issue thing. So if y'all aren't hearing audio, that's because there ain't any audio. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'll make sure that there's very little audio. Audio. Game volume. Low. Sorry. So, we're going to be doing the Renault. We're going to be doing the Renault. I'll, we're going to be doing, starting out with the Renault 5 Turbo. Then the Renault Alpine A110 1600S. Then the Megane, the Megane, the Megane, the, RS, the Megane RS, Megane RS250. I'll say that. Megane RS250. And this, and then we'll end out with the Alpine A10, A110 50 the AR. These are all parts of the L, um, the LW Cross Pack. And you won't see. Yeah. So, we'll get started with the, um, yeah, I don't remember, they're not five. Working interiors, pretty sure they're all in the working interiors. And we're doing this on top via test track. Uh, yeah. Understeer to it. Not too bad. Could be quite a bit better though. Look how long it's taking me to turn. I'm not, I'm barely decelerating or anything. So yeah. Um, yeah. We'll get some rabbit. One through Renault Five, which behaves about you. What you'd expect a hatchback of its era to behave, just a little bit, a bit of understeer. Also, really nice to do. This is the Renault Eight. exactly as you expect. It behaves like a, basically, I guess this would be considered a sports car of its time. Well, I don't quite know if this is a sports car personally, it's just, I don't know much about the history of Renault. This, I would say this is like a 60s, maybe, about 1965 European series racing. If this is a race car, probably happened at some point around then. We can just kind of put a lot of give into it because it behaves very well. I like this car. I like it a lot. Oh, we're going to be doing a car that's much more modern than those two. That's probably mid-80s, maybe, maybe, maybe late 80s, maybe early 90s. That's probably somewhere around the mid-60s. And this is very much a modern car. The Renault Mijan RS250. I would say this car probably 
was around 2008. I don't know the age of any of these cars, because I don't know much about Renault, because I'm an American. I'm an American. I'm an American from the States. From the Southwest, yo. Yeehaw. So fucking dick. Okay. Alright. Once again, this thing has quite a bit to give to it. Driftiness. It's like. Aw, oh, shit. I just stigged it. I just pulled a stig. If only this was Kanz Aguera, that joke would actually be funny. This has so much understeer though. This, this car I do not really think. This car is a bit too much, has a bit too much understeer, but I think that that's kind of the point. It's a hatchback that drives very, very, very much like a modern family hatchback. Even though it's not a family hatchback, it's a coupe. It's technically a coupe. <laughs> Which is shocking. Why would anybody make this car? I don't know. Ask Renault why they made this car. This feels like a your generic sporty car. For somebody who doesn't know, that Renault's a pretty average brand. So yeah, that's enough about that car. There are back seats, though, so that's the thing, I guess. And now we'll be doing the Renault Alpine. You know how this was an old 60s Alpine movie? Maybe 50s? Maybe even 50s? Well, this is 2016, I would guess. Maybe maybe even up to... Maybe even 2017. This could be just a concept car. I have no idea about this car. I have no idea what this car came from. The Alpine A110 50 ZAR. Zar. It looks really nice. Alpine. Look at that. That looks like... To be honest, it looks like the black, the back from McLaren P1. Just a bit more of an odd shape. Renault. You can tell that they like their name. Alpine. Ooh. Is that a tow hook? I think that's a tow hook! You need a goddamn tow hook on a... Where'd it go? Where the fuck did my car go? How the fuck did that car end up behind me? I don't care. Alright, so let's record... Let's drive this. I've been kind of done. Very good. Sadly, the gauge is on the... Just so far out. This thing just travels far too fast. Driving it around. This thing behaves as you expect it to. <laughs> it's got a quite a bit of understeer, but that's not an issue. You kind of expect that. These cars either have too much understeer or too much oversteer. Sadly, this one goes towards the area of too much understeer. I have no idea how fast this car is technically going, but it feels pretty damn fast. Alright, so time. I've got a count timer right here. And I'll be able to tell how fast we can run a lap around Top Gear Test Track. Yeah. Oh shit, the tires. Ooh, I'm running out of time on recording. Oh no. Alright, peace y'all. Forty seconds!